Good morning from Tallulah Gorge State Park. We are going to see one of Georgia's most beautiful waterfalls today. And it is raining as you can see, but that's not gonna stop us from a fun morning of adventure. If you love travel, nature, and the outdoors, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and get ready for adventure. I post new videos every Sunday on travel, entertainment, and the outdoors. Don't forget to hit that like button and say hello in the comments. Tallulah Gorge State Park is 90 minutes north of Atlanta. The park is open from 9 to 9 and costs $5 per car for entry. I recommend getting there early to beat the crowds and find a parking spot. You are going to love this park. It's easily accessible to all. The paths are actually made of old rubber tires, which they've recycled and made into some no nice soft walking paths. Um, I'm gonna take you to all the overlooks, so let's get going. The state park actually has several viewpoints. We are on right now the North Rim Trail. This is about two and a half miles in total. And Right now we're at the second viewpoint. Behind me you can see one of the big waterfalls here and then also one of the big pools that's down at the gorge floor. Now in a normal year you can actually get permits to be able to walk down at the bottom here. Those are not available right now because of the pandemic. So we're just going to be going to some of these higher viewpoints to see some of the parts. The best features of the state park is this suspension bridge that goes over the gorge. You can see the water down below. And if enough people are on here, it shakes quite a bit. So if you are a little bit nervous of that, make sure you take a look. Talk about scary. Tightrope walkers have actually crossed this gorge twice, which measures at more than two miles long and nearly a thousand feet deep. Now, traffic over the suspension bridge is one way, and after crossing, you can either go down the stairs to the gorge floor and Hurricane Falls, or up the stairs to the South Rim Trail. We just came down 221 stairs. There are a lot of stairs in the state park if you want to come and see all the waterfall viewing platforms. Now, right now, we're at the Hurricane Falls viewing platform. And it's from here that if you did have a gorge floor permit, you would be able to access that area. It finally stopped raining and the sun is starting to come out. And I will say that the fog and mist through the fall colors here is just absolutely phenomenal. If you don't know much about this area, we are actually right south of the Appalachian um, Mountains and a little bit west of here, you can get to Amicalola State Park, which is where the longest waterfall in Georgia is. So there's just a ton of hiking and waterfalls and beautiful things to see up here in the North Georgia Mountains. And right now is just such a beautiful time of year. The suspension bridge that we were on earlier is actually only one-way traffic, so now that we are up at the top here, we're going to continue to go basically do a big loop around the park and then head back towards the parking lot. This is actually where we parked this morning, right by the Interpretive Center over here, where they do have restrooms to use and some trail information, and we've obviously come across the gorge. The state park covers almost 2,800 acres. A 63-acre lake has more than 50 campsites for tents, RVs, and trailers, 
one sandy beach, and plenty of facilities. Right now we're at overlook number 10. This is actually the last overlook here in the state park. And if you guys can see over here, there is this huge wall here. It's about 900 feet tall. It goes down to the gorge floor. And from here, we actually are gonna turn around, head back up those stairs and retrace our steps a little bit before continuing on the trail to get back. Tallulah Gorge has been a tourist attraction since the early 19th century and it almost wasn't a place where tourists could even come and see. That's because Georgia Railway and Power began building dams on the river in 1910. And Helen Dorch and James Longstreet actually sued Georgia Power to try and protect the gorge. Well, that actually failed, but it led to further conservation movements in Georgia. Because after this dam was completed, tourism dwindled, the roar of Tallulah Falls could no longer really be heard. But the state actually wanted this area to be protected and they wanted tourism to come back here. So Georgia Power actually worked with the state to protect this area into what is now Tallulah Gorge State Park. Okay, everyone, we have made it back to where we began here at Overlooks 1, 2, and 3. As you can see, there is a lot more people now that the rain has stopped and the <laughs> day is continuing on. This is actually a really popular place to come for a lot of people here in Georgia. Fall colors are amazing and it's obviously very accessible to a lot of people. You can also bring dogs on these trails so it's a really great place to come if you do have you know small children or animals and you're looking to just get like a nice short trip out in nature. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and watch one of these other videos on my channel.